My lords, ladies and gentlemen, hello once again and welcome back to uh, Transport Fever 2. Forgot what I was going to say there, forgot the name of the game and almost said something completely random. It's, yeah, anyway, uh, not the most auspicious of starts, shall we say. So here we are then, we're in Transport Fever 2 and we're in the city of Philadelphia to start things today. Somewhere downtown in Philadelphia looking over the buildings and watching the comings and goings of the people look there goes one of the buses that we set up the station link open oh, here comes its counterpart or one of them I think we have three buses in total so there should be one other knocking about somewhere but uh, I'm sure it's fine whatever it's up to I'm sure it's doing well and uh, doing what it's supposed to do making us money well Maybe the bus itself isn't making us money, but as long as it's getting people onto the the, uh, the rail line, where they will make us money, then I think we're all happy. So what's the aim for today? Well, I'd like to get this Amtrak Northeast finished today, if at all possible. At the moment we are as far as Philadelphia, and in fact, yes, Philadelphia, we've got as far as Philadelphia, that's correct. And the last two stations we plan on hitting are Baltimore and then our termination in Washington DC. That shouldn't be too much of an ask, I don't think, to complete it today. It's only two more cities. The distance between Philadelphia and Baltimore is a little bit large, but that's fine. We do have the small town of Aberdeen on the way. But we are just going to ignore that and press straight on towards Baltimore. So let's bring up the UI. So we've got 40 million. We can start the date. So we have plenty of funds to be able to complete the planned works. It's not going to cost us 40 million to do this. Here's our station in Oh no, we're in Wilmington. Look at that. I th yeah, that's where I got confused. I thought we'd gone to Wilmington, but for some reason I had it in my head that we were in Philadelphia. No, we were in Wilmington all along. Over in uh, the state of Delaware. Regardless, we can press on. Head into the untamed wilderness as we head towards Baltimore. Should be a fairly easy route to get down here it's pretty straight where do we want to put our station now that's a question in Baltimore we have the residential area over here maybe we'll put our station somewhere like this just here and then we can keep it running along the up down axis and then the trains can run out and then they're into Washington and then we're done and then we can maybe do some after that not in this episode, but, you know, general future plans. Perhaps we'll look at doing some some more uh, local lines, commuter lines, sort of thing, like we did from Boston to Worcester. I mean, that line, uh, the Amtrak Lakeshore, by my reckoning and understanding, it goes out to Springfield, so we'd want to replicate that, really. So, yeah. Also, we have a large station in New York. We want that to be start having some connections in and around the local area as well, of course. So we don't have a huge station with just two platforms being used. It looks a bit weird. So the more we can do, the better. But for now, we need to focus on Baltimore. So we're doing the usual sort of thing here. We're just going to connect it in with the roads get the gap can go away and then it's a case of getting the bus service set up let's just upgrade that road there that's better so bus stop we know the setup by now um look at the size i think one for now will encapsulate yeah get a good must be 90 95 percent of the city there so no we didn't want it there i didn't see where that was try that again we want oh, I thought there was a road there hmm no there's not well even so with that there we're covering to a greater or lesser extent the entire city so we're fine 
and let's have this one um, let's have it yellow for Baltimore in fact no we should have it purple let's have purple maybe which one do we want that one yeah there we go so quick name tame name tame name change so Baltimore station link and there we go that's Baltimore station link set up so let's just give them a depot that can go there why the heck not so we're still with the max we'll go for three we're gonna do the usual setup that we've taken to which is full maintenance and away they go so out they come here come our purple max to serve the city of Baltimore right so now we've done that we can connect the station to the line it is pretty much a straight run from here into Philadelphia into Wilmington keep forgetting it's Wilmington so let's give them a nice oh, what the heck we've got plenty room between these two stations let's let's expand that down and let's give them a 75 miles per hour switch there we go we've got a bear on the tracks luckily for him or her there are no trains due down here anytime soon because well it's not connected so you're safe but I won't stay there for very long right so what we want to do is head this way we are breaking to the left ever so slightly because we want to make sure we give Aberdeen a wide enough berth that we've got room for any local services that we'll put down in the future one thing I have been doing between the episodes is slowly working on upgrading the tracks that we have so far on our passenger line so that they're double tracked when I started all this they were just single tracked with passing loops so I am making the efforts now to actually double track our previous track lane efforts right let's stop to turn here because we have an industry just there which we may or may not end up using in the future and if we do we want to make sure we give it oh we've got our, you know we've got enough space for a cargo station and the cargo lines to get in there here we go and we're pretty much there the, f the final run here should be fairly straightforward and here we go we have landed in Wilmington we are all connected the last thing we want to make sure we get of course is the the slip switch on approach into the station we'll get a decent speed there what's that yeah north of 50 miles an hour so we've got to drop in some signals along this run we'll space them out rather generously just to make it that little bit faster and also I'm thinking I've got one eye on the future when we start to upgrade to the electric version of our signals if we can minimize the number of semaphores we have it's not as much work to upgrade them all later on and uh, let's have one more there so there we go we have got to Wilmington so before we do anything else sorry we've got to Baltimore so before we do anything else let's reflect that in the line so we want to now head from Wilmington to Baltimore and then back to Wilmington like so yes perfect so this train here will be maiden train into Baltimore in a few moments time and while the train is making its way down we may as well finish off this Amtrak Northeast and go into Washington DC 
So I'm going to say we will have in fact, a little bit of reworking here. I'm just going to delete some of this and just, just redo it a fraction. Because what I want is my station right here. Uh, in terms of local lines, hmm. No, I suppose we could have one that heads up. No. You see, you'd think Washington DC would merit a four, five, six platform station. So the capital city, after all. However, Baltimore notwithstanding, there's nothing else nearby. Well, let's go for two. Well, I mean, we can always expand our station in the future. It's, it's no problem. And let's have it just there. There we go, Washington Station is now in situ. How are we for connectivity? We've got about 50%, so we will need a bus service. And it will be a quick loop like that. Usual setup, we know the score by now. And it's just really a nice, simple rotation around the city, and you can be sky blue and it's Washington station link as per let's get a depot and we'll keep it out of the way a little bit this time let's put it up here and max three thereof let's get that maintenance up there and blue yes wonderful right now to connect this station to our network which again should be relatively straightforward and again just leaving a bit of space here around the industry for any potential future incorporation that we may need to do let's give ourselves a diamond there we go that's not too bad wonderful and where are we headed there we go we can see the icon which is very handy and let's bring that back so it doesn't accidentally snap to the road at any point i've done that before all right then so the problem here is these tracks are going to run straight past the residential district of baltimore so we are going to unfortunately suffer noise pollution issues here but I'm sure we'll be okay right how does that look no I don't like the way it's just yeah, that's just unnecessary curvature there so what we're gonna do is you're gonna go there along with your counterpart and then this one will just redo this bit here and have it swing out just a little further so the connection on the tracks doesn't look as bizarre I think that should be enough let's see oh yes more than and then if we do that yeah that's better and then the second track alongside wonderful diamond for Baltimore we'll just have it on the side of this level crossing and then it's just the signal work and again not going to go overboard with the blocks because in the future we are going to want to swap all these semaphores for the electric light signal and the, as I said earlier on you know the fewer of those that you have the quicker it is how many blocks do we have there just and we probably get away with one more maybe two um, yeah maybe somewhere by this level crossing like that yeah that's that's fine okay so now we can finish the Amtrak's run, manage the line, 
So Baltimore, we are then into our final station, Washington DC. And then after Washington, of course, we wanna make sure we do include Baltimore on the return leg, like that. And then Wilmington, Philadelphia, Trenton, New York, Stanford, New Haven, London, Kingston, Providence, and of course, Boston. Well, there we go. We have our major passenger line that cuts through the entire map, originating in Boston, terminating in Washington, and hitting a fair few cities in between. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. Right, the other thing I mentioned is the Amtrak Lakeshore does go into Springfield. So I think we'll do that because it didn't take as long as I thought it might do to finish the northeast. So let's get a station for Springfield. And where would we want this? Maybe maybe down here. Yeah, we'll have it there. It just needs to be Springfield, not Springfield Transfer. And we'll get all its associated required infrastructure constructed before we do the tracks. Like so. Let's upgrade that capacity there. Wonderful. And then you can go into this junction here actually like so and again we know what we're doing here the link bus stop very simple new line there to there color scheme you can be pink just to be a little bit different so I think we've had a pink line thus far and this is our Springfield station link Excellent. Let's get them a depot. Stick it out of the way of town. And I'm going to just use two for this because Springfield's a fairly small city. And we've done nothing yet to affect the growth. So we'll stick to two. And away they go. So now we want to get this line into our passenger station here. So what we're going to do, we're actually going to run out from Worcester simply because Worcester's got a few obstructions, shall we say, in the nearby area. A few other, we've got the cargo lines and the like, so we need to handle those. Ideally, we want to be coming kind of like through this way and into Springfield. Right, I think we're pretty nicely elevated up here and I think we could probably cross all this without any issue oh maybe maybe not in fact maybe if we just, so at 48 let's aim for 53 and I think no even 56 would cause collisions as we saw there Let's go to 60 meters. Yeah, we'll go 60. Let's stick at 60 if we can without it messing it up. Yeah, we can. We do need a bridge there, but behind we will substitute out for earthworks, I think at this bit here and in terms of our angle and direction we want to be a little bit more that way I think yes 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 did I put a cargo no no that's the cargo station I thought I was looking at the station icon for the city of Springfield but I was not right now stay level right we've got a bridge pillar collision which is occurring here Okay, well, we can amend that easily enough. Uh, 
How's that? Yeah, that's fine. And now, really, we'd want this to start losing some elevation. Maybe down... Yeah, let's chop 10 meters off. Because we want to get back down to ground level pretty soon. In fact, from here it can probably go to raised earthworks. And we'll just let this do whatever it needs to do. So where's our station icon? There it is up there. Look. So we want to keep an eye on that because that's where we're headed towards. Although we are approaching at the wrong angle. So we do want to carry on heading out to head in. Uh, yeah, we'll have a bridge there, I think. But we'll have that one as earthworks. And here we can go straight in, like so. And that should be pretty good. So now we're just going to quickly run a second track all the way along all of this into Worcester. Luckily, it's not messed up the bridge feet thus far. Right. Um, right, what we have to do here then is something like that, which is fine. And in the future, we may end up expanding the size of the station at Worcester. And if we do, then we'll just have to do a bit of relaying of the tracks on the approach. But that's, that's no biggie. Right, so let's chuck in our blocking signals. We have a tunnel there. Very good, very good. I don't think I noticed that when I was constructing it. Right there. And now we want the diamond for Springfield. If we can get it in. Yes, we can. There we go. Okay, so now what we're going to do then is amend the Amtrak Lakeshore line so that we also head as far as Springfield. Okay, what's your problem here? Is it because there was a train on the platform? Well, we'll keep that and then we'll see what the problem is. Ah, yeah, it's because you were in a station. It does sometimes like to mess about when it does that. But you just reverse the train and the problem goes away. Right, there we go. And I think that'll be enough for today. We got as far as Washington. No, well, I say as far. We finished the Amtrak Northeast line. We've also expanded the Amtrak Lakeshore line just a fraction. I don't think the Lakeshore line would go any further than Springfield. I'd have to, I want to have another look at the, the rail route map for this area of the US. But we will at some point have a line from Springfield to Hartford. I, we might struggle to get Hartford into New Haven directly because we have a lot of cargo lines between us and them and the angles are not the most conducive we could probably get away with Hartford to New London reasonably enough one of the other things I am keen to do and every time I fly past I'm tempted to start and just ditch existing plans and that is work on New York, Jersey City, Yonkers, Queens, Brooklyn, this area, because we want these to be big. So we want to start thinking about getting some of these goods into these places, because we want them to really come together and uh, form the mega city that they have in reality, basically. So maybe that's what we'll do next then, we'll give some love to New York City and the surrounding cities of Jersey, Edison and uh, Newark. Yes, that, that's the next plan. Because, yeah, we need these to grow. 
and amalgamate and become huge cities. That's all for, obviously, future episodes. Right, do we have a train anywhere near Washington, D.C.? No, do we have a train heading... Where are you heading? You're heading down to our... Anything behind you? Ah, you've just left. Is anything even... No. Right, so, this train it is. And we'll take a ride on the completed Amtrak Northeast line into Washington, D.C. So I hope you enjoyed the episode. It's been nice to take a break from cargo, do some passenger work for a little bit. It just changes things up a little. As I said though, next time out it's probably back to cargo with a view to growing New York City as large as we can. So thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy, uh, please consider leaving a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet done so, also a subscription is also greatly, greatly appreciated. Plus it helps you uh, follow along future episodes as and when they're released. But for now all that remains for me to say is as always ladies and gentlemen you take very good care of yourselves. It's that for now.